New Orleans, Louisiana. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the Houston Cougars. Come in with a record of 5-7, and 0-1 oh and in league play. They're going to lead off with Tyler Gilbert in the center. Jessica Palmer is the forward. Marche Emerson also the forward. The two guards, Mariah Mitchell and Alicia Smith. As uh, the Houston Cougars, a very exciting team. Five and seven, as I mentioned, 0 oh and one in league play. So the uh, Cougars ready for basketball here tonight. Let's uh, take a look at the starting lineup for the two-lane green wave, and it'll be Tierra Jones making the start today, along with the freshman guard, Colby Morgan, freshman point guard, Jamie Kaplan. She's got 480 assist career here at Tulane. Tiffany Dale, who I mentioned in the open, uh, has been fantastic in her last five games. And then it's Danielle Black, who got her 1,000th career point just a few weeks ago so that is the two lane green wave starting lineup as uh, you take a look as the introductions here at Devlin Fieldhouse uptown New Orleans for our first American Digital Network broadcast here from New Orleans as the green wave 10 and 2 on the season 1 and 0 in league play a team that has been to the postseason each of its last five seasons and they're off to another terrific start. Tulane and Houston have a little history. These two schools have played each other a lot over the years. In fact, Tulane and Houston were in the same conference over in Conference USA for a long time. Tulane has won four of the last five meetings between these two, but the last time these two schools met back in uh, February of 2013, it was Houston upending Tulane in double overtime here at Devlin Fieldhouse, 71 to 70. The all-time series, though, is Tulane 21, Houston 13, as we mentioned, a lot of tradition as these schools go back all the way to 1979, and they've played each other a lot. So Houston is in the red, and uh, Tulane will be taking the floor in just a moment, wearing their white uniforms as uh, we are set for tip-off here at Devlin Fieldhouse for today's ball game. As uh, tipping it off for the Houston Cougars is going to be Tyler Gilbert. One of four juniors in the starting lineup for Houston, matching up against Tiffany Dale in the court. Goes to Houston. The Cougars go to back to work. Marche Emerson, shot no good. Follow up with the rebound. Once again, no good. Tiffany Dale with the rebound for the two-lane green wave. She had 10 rebounds in the two-lane win against Cincinnati the other day. Jamie Kaplan on the left wing. Gets it back outside. Blag for three. Shot no good. Dale with the rebound along the baseline. Gets it back to Kaplan. Feeds it to Tiffany Dale. And the two-lane green wave take the early lead. We mentioned Dale in the open has been fantastic. The senior from Levon, Texas. Here comes Houston back on offense. Palmer on the left wing. Gets it back outside. They got a wide open shot underneath. Not going to go, but a whistle and a foul. Very nice feed inside to Tyler Gilbert. So a whistle and a foul. So Gilbert will go to the line here. Tyler Gilbert going to the stripe. The jury, the junior from Missouri City, Texas. 21 of 31 on the season from the free throw line. The shot. He's going to rim in and out. No good. Second shot here for number 33, Tyler Gilbert. 17 points, 11 boards in Houston's big win in that inner city battle against the Rice Owls. A couple weeks back, missed on both free throws. Tulane off the miss. Kaplan kicks it out to Black. Looks underneath for Chinway Duru, who just checked in a moment ago to give Tulane a little size. Houston's going to have a size advantage in this matchup against the Greenway. Back to work is Houston. It is Alicia Smith 
Smith looks underneath, and the shot is good. Tyler Gilbert, after missing the two free throws, is going to tie the ball game up. Blag looks forward for Tierra Jones. Jones back outside for Kaplan. Jamie Kaplan, the point guard for Tulane here in her senior season at a Sebastian, Florida, just 19 assists away from 500 career assists for the Tulane Greenway. Looks underneath, Duru, turnaround shot, no good. Rebound, Colby Morgan, so the freshman gets the board. Tulane setting up back offensively with the shot clock, reset at 30, and we've got another whistle and a foul. Oh, a whistle and a foul, it's gonna go against Houston. Personal foul went to number 21, Jessica Palmer, the junior out of Lamarck, Texas. Kaplan wide open for three. Shot rimmed in and out. And it's a loose ball, and Houston's going to save it. It was Alicia Smith who saved it just before it went out of bounds. Smith pushes it up the floor, and it's a turnover as she traveled. Well, Smith took some steps back, backing towards the goal, trying to create offense. 2 2 ball game. 17.40 to go. Long pass for Kaplan. Kaplan, bounce pass, shot good. Easy layup up and in for the junior, Tierra Jones. Long pass down floor, and wow, they were fast. Marche Anderson, I mean, and that Amerson. Ten and a half points a year ago. A key player for this Houston Cougars team has tied it up. Near steal and turns into a steal. Getting a hand on it was Amerson running down the floor, but ended up picking it off was Tyler Gilbert. Here comes Houston back on the offensive end. Shot from the corner is no good by the freshman, Mariah Mitchell. And now we've got another whistle and a foul. 17.04 remaining, first half action. Tulane and Houston all tied at four. So here comes Tulane back on the offensive end. Colby Morgan, the freshman, dishes it off to Jamie Kaplan, who pushes it up the floor. Blag. Blag's going to take the shot. It's good. Danielle Blag from 15 feet away hits the shot, and Tulane retakes the lead. Amerson, nice pass here for Gilbert, and the ball gets knocked away, but a whistle and a foul against the two-lane green wave. So here it is, the personal win against the freshman Morgan for two lanes. So Houston maintains possession here. Alicia Smith looks underneath and another foul. This is gonna be a hold. Looks like it's gonna go against two lanes, Chinway Duru. So another whistle and a foul. So Duru will exit, and another substitution will be the redshirt sophomore, Morgan Rogers. A lot of use of players here early for Tulane here before even the first media timeout. They've already gone to the bench twice. Here comes Houston, back on offense. Works it back around into the hands of Alicia Smith. Smith. Kicks it back out, a three ball, no good. Blag with the rebound, pushes it down the floor. Kaplan runs the floor, shot no good. Ball went out of bounds. It'll remain with the Tulane Greenway. So Tulane leading Houston by a bucket, six to four. So Kaplan set to inbound it here in just a moment. On the baseline. Pick set by Blag. They find it open. Tierra Jones, who lays it up and in. Jones' is fourth point of the night. And Tulane is up by four. Little half court trap here, but breaking the press is Houston. As bringing it across midcourt was Moesha Kennard, a Louisiana native. And now a jump ball. Tulane ties it up as they got it across the timeline at midcourt. Ends up being a turnover. 15 minutes, 
50 seconds remaining in this one. The two-lane green wave leading Houston 8-4. At the University of Houston, we are scholars, entrepreneurs, global citizens. This is the house innovation built. This is amazing! Welcome to the powerhouse. Tulane is leading Houston coming out of the timeout. Eight to four. 15 minutes, 50 seconds remaining as uh, the green wave. So we're coming out of the timeout here. Look at coach Lisa Stockton in her 21st season here. The green wave. Take a look at the early statistics here. Tulane, two, uh, I should say Tulane is four for nine. Meanwhile, Houston is two for their first six shooting here in this ball game. Take a look at a replay from earlier today as Kaplan dishes it off here to uh, Tulane as the Green Wave making some offense. Another assist for Jamie Kaplan. And she gets a nice assist here, her 481st career assist. So, coming out of the media timeout. So it's Tulane leading Houston eight to four. So here's Jamie Kaplan, pushes it up the floor for the green wave. Kaplan, left wing for Black. Blag back at top of the key for Kaplan. Kaplan backing her way towards the goal. 15 on the shot clock. Looks it underneath, and the ball got knocked away, and it ends up into the hands of Houston's Alicia Smith. Smith as with the basketball. So it's with the basketball is Smith. Smith for three, shot no good. Long rebound ends up into the hands of Marche Emerson and a second opportunity here for the Houston Cougars. Tulane offensively has done it, I should say Tulane on the rebounding end has been a very good rebounding team this year. Houston is not, but early today, Houston has done a nice job on the rebounding. So the shot is good. Houston's back within two at eight to six. Pushing it up the floor is going to be Jamie Kaplan. Gets it off to Morgan into the corner now for Kaplan. Near turnover and it ends up being saved by the freshman. Morgan dishes it off and the ball gets stripped away and stolen as here comes Houston back the other way. The Cougars back on offense. Shot for three, no good. Tulane with the rebound. It ends up in the hands of Morgan Rogers. Rogers pushes it up the floor for Kaplan. Kaplan underneath for Tiara Jones. Gets the bucket, and she's going to go to the line to try for an old-fashioned three-point play here. 14-14 remaining. Bunch of substitutions about to be made here. As Leslie Vorpal returns, actually checking in for the first time, the Houston native Courtney Latham checking in for the first time for Tulane. 14-14 remaining here in this first half at the free throw line is Tierra Jones. 16 of 36 at the free throw line. Jones' shot is no good. Rimmed in and out as here comes Houston off the miss. The Cougars pushing up the offense is Bianca Wins Winslow and the shot from the corner, no good. And we are gonna have a two lane foul. 14.05 remaining. And going to the line here is gonna be Marche Amerson. So Amerson at the stripe. 6'1", junior out of Bryan, Texas, averaging 9.3 a game. She had 10 in Houston's loss at Hoffines Pavilion in Houston the other day 
to UCF. So Amerson at the stripe here. So Amerson at the line. It's a 10-6 two-lane ball game. Free throw is good. So it's a three-point game. A little pressure here as we expected. Houston, a very athletic team. They like to pressure you on defense and attack on offense. For Paul, barely got it across, and I don't think she did. 10 second violation as Tulane is going to turn it over. Now that Houston defense forcing a turnover here, and at the 1354 mark, the Tulane Green Wave with a three point lead on the Houston Cougars who go back to work offensively. With the basketball, Bianca Winslow. Winslow back at top of the key now for Kennard. Kennard is a Louisiana native. Family in town as there is definitely some Houston Cougars here at Def Houston Cougar fans here at Devlin Fieldhouse tonight. So some more substitutions here, this time for Houston. Checking out of the ball game is Alford. Also checking out of the game was going to be Kennard. So Houston back on offense. The Cougars down by three. Winslow running the offense, tries to lob it in. Tulane, nice play by Tiffany Dale. Tips it away, ends up into the hands of Ebowani. Pushes it up the floor for Vorpal. Leslie Vorpal just came off the bench a moment ago for Tulane. Had 18 in the Green Wave win up in the Queen City of Cincinnati. Ball knocked away, and it ends up into the hands of Houston. So the Cougars pushing it up the floor, and it's Marche Amerson gives it off to Winslow. 10-7 is our score. 13 minutes remaining here in the opening half from Devlin Fieldhouse. Lob underneath, wide open, and the shot is good. Tyler Gilbert with her first bucket of the night, and we got a one-point ball game. Tulane pushing it up the floor now for Vorpal. Vorpal works it into the corner. Courtney Latham gives it back to Vorpal, who's open for three and buries it. Leslie Vorpal from the corner, the sophomore from San Antonio, Texas, buries the tray, and Tulane is back up by four. Houston back on the offensive end. The Cougars coming back, and it's Winslow on the point. So Winslow, junior from just outside of Houston in Bel Air, Texas. So Winslow into the corner here. Five on the shot clock. They got to get a shot off. Two. Shot is off before the shot clock violation. Hits the iron. No good. But Tulane with the rebound. Vorpal pushing it up the floor. And there's a big collision underneath. A foul here. I think it's going to go against Joshua of Houston. That was a big time collision on the fast break. And Deja Joshua, the freshman out of Gary, Indiana, going to be charged for the foul and is immediately going to go to the bench. Seems to be okay, as that was a big collision there. And Tulane will have possession here. Not in the act of shooting. So the green wave set to inbound the basketball from the baseline. Get it in. And it ends up getting knocked away. And it's off of Tulane. So it's going to be a timeout on the floor. 11 minutes. 56 seconds to go here in this first half. Tulane is up by on Houston by the score of 13 to nine. When it comes to learning at Tulane University, there are no boundaries. Architects and scientists in New Orleans, doctors and public health experts in Africa, history and language scholars in Latin America, legal students and professors in Europe, business students in Asia, Tulaneans are all over the globe, and the world is their oyster. We've got that, and a lot more, right here at Tulane University. Devlin Fieldhouse, Uptown New Orleans, Louisiana, the Tulane Green Wave have a four-point advantage here as they lead the Houston Cougars by the score of 13 to nine. Take a look what's going on on the floor. Houston. Getting back into this ball game, and the Cougars with a nice look 
inside there. They have the size advantage, as we mentioned, and they're making him pay. And Tyler Gilbert with a couple of early buckets. But meanwhile, down the other end, two lane. Tierra Jones with a nice feed from Kaplan. And then it's Leslie Vorpal from the corner. Three to three, and that's two lane with a four point advantage leading this one by the score of 13 to nine. Take a look at some early statistics in this one. The Green Wave with an 11 to four rebounding margin. We mentioned Houston may have a size advantage, but Tulane crashes the boards and they have done a fantastic job early today. Meanwhile, shooting the Green Wave, six for their first 12, 50%, including one of three from three point range. Houston, four for their first 11, shooting 36%. Here comes the Cougars up the floor, and it's going to be Jessica Palmer. Palmer's one of their leading scorers, averaging nearly 10 points a game at 9.9 .9 a contest, yet to score in this one. Palmer works it back over to Marsha Amerson, and the ball got knocked away and stolen by Ebowani for Tulane. So here comes the Green Wave setting up offensively as it's Leslie Vorpal, the sophomore. Vorpal. Had a very good month of December as well, as here comes Blag dribbling into traffic and now kicks it back at top of the key now into the hands of the Houston native, Courtney Latham, and we get a foul as Latham, as Latham gets fouled here by Houston. That'll be the fifth team foul, and the personal went against Jessica Palmer, the junior, picking up her second personal. So Palmer... Averaging 9.9 .9 a game is going to have to go to the bench here for Houston with two early fouls. Latham set to inbound it here for Leslie Vorpal. Vorpal works it back around now for Danielle Blagg. Blagg from 15, nothing but net. Blagg had four in the win at Cincinnati. She's already got four today, stolen by Tiffany Dale. Dale pushes it up the floor for Blagg. Into the corner for Latham, and now an offensive foul called against Danielle Blagg for Tulane. Oh, Blagg pushed the pass away and then ran right into the defender. So it goes back to the Houston Cougars. 10.49 remaining. Houston bringing it up the floor here against that half-court trap, and they look like they break it. Now the trap is on. Smith gets it out of there and into the corner. A wide-open three, and Emerson overshoots, and it ends up in the hands of Leslie Vorpal. Vorpal pushing it up the floor for Latham for the green wave. Ten and a half remaining in this first half. Tulane with a six-point advantage, and we have a foul. This one's going to go against Houston, be their sixth team foul. Foul went against number three, Bianca Winslow. Winslow's first. And going to the free throw line for the Green Wave, the sophomore from Houston, Texas, is Courtney Latham. This is a two lane team that is six players. Coming from the Lone Star State, Latham the only one from Houston. Latham converts. Second free throw here for the sophomore, and it is no good. Ball went out of bounds, and it goes back to Houston. 16 to 9, Tulane with its largest lead of the ball game as it's a seven point advantage. The Green Wave have led throughout. First American Athletic Conference game for Tulane on its home floor. Looks underneath, and they get a bucket underneath. Taryn Alford, the senior out of Oklahoma City, gets the bucket. Tulane having trouble against this pressure. Gets it over here to Ebowani, nearly lost it, ends up maintaining possession, gets a shot off, nothing going. Gets her own rebound and a nice follow-up for Adesawa Ebowani. Tulane is back up by seven. Trap here set by Blagg and Latham, and it's taken away by Ebowani. Ebowani to Vorpal, gets it off to Danielle Blagg, who gets the bucket and a foul. Alicia Smith gonna be whistled for her first personal, and Blagg will go to the line for the three-point play. Substitution's about to be made. 
Houston is going to use a timeout here as Tulane on a little bit of a run as all of a sudden it is a nine-point advantage for the Tulane Green Wave as they lead it here 20-11. to 11. And Danielle Blagg in just a moment will try to add to it. Let's take a look at how the conference looks. Of course, we're just getting into conference play. Everybody's got one game under their belt. Last night, the University of Connecticut, the second-ranked team in the nation, had a huge win as they took on the Duke Blue Devils. They've won nine in a row as they are now up at top of the standings. Meanwhile, Tulane with ten wins in second place, USF, and then you got UCF and you see UCF. Houston down there at 5-7 and seven overall, but of course 0-1 in league play. And of course that's where it all matters now that conference play is underway. So important, these key conference matchups. Blagg's going to convert on the free throw, and Blagg with a three-point play. She's got seven for the green way. Here's Winslow pushing it up the floor for Houston. Gives it off to Amerson. Amerson has the ball knocked away, and it's into the hands of Leslie Vorpal. Vorpal gets it off to Latham with the finish. Courtney Latham lays it up and in for the Houston for the two-lane Green Wave, and the lead is now 12. Now that's not exactly what you wanted out of the timeout. If you're Ronald Huey, the first-year head coach of the Houston Cougars. Houston back on offense, and the turnovers are mounting. That one's taken away by Tierra Jones. Gets it off to Vorpal. Shot, no good. Loose ball ends up into the hands of Houston. So here come the Cougars. Going to try to slow things down this time and get off a good shot as they're down by a dozen. 8.52 remaining here in this first half. Running the offense is Alicia Smith. Smith going to be doubled up by that two-lane defense. This two-lane team will show a lot of different defensive looks. And here in the early going, it has confused the Houston Cougars. And there's a big three. One way to silence the defense is Smith from downtown. That's her 18th three-pointer of the ball game. And we got ourselves a nine-point contest. Tulane back the other way. Look, feed for Blagg. And Danielle Blagg is off to a tremendous start tonight. And she's got nine points. And she got back on the other end and got the easy layup. Houston going to bring it over the timeline. And here comes that ferocious trap that Tulane has put on. Winslow's going to break it. Gives it into Amerson. And now the feed to Taryn Alford. And Alford gets the bucket. And Alford's got six to lead the Cougars. Back to a nine-point ball game. Tulane back on offense. More pole looking underneath. Rogers goes back to work. And there's the shot, and it is up and good. Make that Chin Wei Duru, who gets the bucket, the junior out of Round Rock, Texas. Winslow bringing it up the floor. Houston setting up offensively. They look underneath. They've had a little success in there in this ball game. Shot by Gilbert is no good, but Houston maintains possession. Gets it back outside. Smith for three. Drained one a moment ago. This one just a little long. Gets the offensive rebound, and maybe the third time's the charm here for the Houston Cougars. Smith works it back around now for Winslow. Back at top of the key, under seven to play in the first half. 13 on the shot clock, and now an offensive foul going to be whistled against the point guard for the Houston Cougars, Alicia Smith. Foul number two on Smith, the junior. And with 6.54 remaining, Tulane leading Houston by 11, 27 to 16. That's our score here. Let's take a look at what Tulane's been doing to create this offense here in this first half. Here's Leslie Vorpal pushing it up the floor for the green wave and a nice feed and a nice dump off to the Houston native Courtney Latham for the bucket. Meanwhile, the assist coming off these turnovers. Tulane's been able to push it up the floor. There's Vorpal dishes it off to Danielle Blagg and Blagg has made a big name for herself here in the first half with nine points. And now finally, Chen Wei Duru getting in underneath, setting up the offense and getting the bucket. I mentioned Blagg, fantastic here in the early going, the senior from San Antonio, Texas with nine points. She eclipsed the 1,000th career point 
mark for Tulane just a couple of weeks ago and could be one of three players on this Tulane team that has the chance to do it. Blagg's the first, Tiffany Dale, the senior, not that far away. And Jamie Kaplan, if she can get going, she's got a chance to join that as well. Kaplan, on the other hand, has 807 career points so far, so a little bit to go. Taking a look at the uh, first half stats, Houston here in the early going, 7 for 17, 41%. Meanwhile, for the Tulane Green Wave, 12 of 20, 60 percent. Mentioned turnovers are a big story here. Both teams have been a little sloppy. Houston with nine turnovers. Houston, Tulane with eight first half turnovers. Rebounding, Tulane 13 to eight. Just a couple of the quick numbers here in the early going as uh, the Tulane Green Wave leading the Houston Cougars here by 11, 27 to 16. Me Tulane basketball coming out of the media timeout is pushing it up the floor is going to be the point guard Jamie Kaplan. Pick set. Kaplan rolls right. Back at top of the key now. Getting it into the hands of Kayla Crookshank, who just checked in for the first time today. And we've got a whistle and another Tulane foul. So it goes back over to the Houston Cougars. Foul will go against Tulane, and it's going to go against Chinway Duru. Duru second, and she'll go to the uh, bench here. Morgan Rogers is going to return to the lineup. So with two fouls here in the first half, Coach Stockton immediately saying, all right, let's make a substitution. Here comes Houston. Trying to make a late run here in this first half, down by 11. Alicia Smith hit a three just before that timeout. Back over to Winslow. Winslow back at top of the key and now gets it back. Three on the shot clock, running out of time here. And Tulane with the steal. Crookshank running the floor and took some steps. Now Kayla Crookshank, the freshman out of Montreal, Canada. Took a few steps, saw the hole there, saw an opening, an opportunity to get a layup in the fast break after the steal. Ended up taking some steps and turns it over. She had four in the Green Wave win at Cincinnati. Now we got a hold and a whistle and a foul. Going to go against Houston. That's the eighth team foul against the Cougars. So going to the free throw line for the Houston Cougars is going to be Tyler Gilbert, junior out of Missouri City, Texas. 21 of 31 from the free throw line and converts the first. Second free throw opportunity. As Gilbert is at the stripe, four points for Gilbert on Sunday against UCF shot is no good. Tulane with a 10 point lead. Kaplan brings it up the floor. Jamie Kaplan works it over here to Crookshank. Now works it back around. Gets it back here to Jamie Kaplan. Kaplan looks underneath and with the easy layup, nicely going for the Tulane Green Wave as Morgan Rogers, it's her first points of the night. Here comes Houston back the other way, and the Cougars look like maybe some steps, but a whistle and a foul, as you see the crowd reaction here at Devlin Fieldhouse, and going to the free throw line here in just a moment is going to be Mariah Mitchell, the freshman. Made her second career start today for Houston. Six points against UCF, converts the first free throw. All tourney team in the recent tournament over in Lubbock, Texas. Mitchell made the athletes in action all tournament team. As Houston played very well in that tournament. The Cougars winning their first two games in Lubbock. A three-point win against Texas San Antonio and then had an impressive win against Nichols State and played very well against the host, Texas Tech out of the Big 12. Ended up losing in the championship by six. 
out one, two out of three there to get a little confidence. Here's Blagg off the three, and it is good. Danielle Blagg with her second tray of the day, and Tulane has built its lead to its largest of the ball game, 32 to 19. Here comes that defense again. Alford breaks it. Here's a shot from the corner, no good. Houston is not a very good shooting team statistically for the season, and they've been forcing a few threes here lately after hitting one, just trying to get back into this ball game. Five minutes to play here. There's the inbounds into the hands of Mariah Mitchell, and now back at top of the key for the point guard, Alicia Smith. Smith works it back around. She's one of the juniors that has been an impact player for this Houston Cougars team, which has made so much progress from a year ago. And some steps there, and it's a turnover that'll give it back to the Tulane Green Way. Spoke with the head coach before the ball game and Ronald Huey, and he's very excited about building this program. And he said, we're taking it one step at a time. And that's the way we need to do it as he's building a Houston team that won just six games a year ago. They've already got five wins this season. Shot no good. And it's going to go back to the Houston Cougars. 427 remaining here in this opening half. The Tulane Green Wave leading Houston 32 to 19 as we appear to have a little bit more substitutions as Tiffany Dale is going to exit. Adesawa Ebowani returning to the lineup for Tulane. So going to the free throw line here for Houston is Tyler Gilbert. Gilbert's been at the line a few times today. Gilbert blocked the shot in 11 of the first 12 games this season for Houston. Gilbert misses the free throw, and Tulane brings it up the floor. Colby Morgan, the freshman, been a Excellent addition for Coach Stockton here in New Orleans as Morgan's shot is no good and it's going to be tied up. Alternating possession arrow is going to go back to the Houston Cougars. I was talking about Colby Morgan, the freshman, already has been named the freshman of the week three times by the American. Double-digit scoring in 10 of her first 12 career games at 10 points against Cincinnati back on Saturday. Tulane leading Houston 32 to 19. Here's Winslow, brings it up the floor. Works it back around. Alicia Smith trying to set up offensively with 10 on the shot clock. They're feeding it underneath, shot no good. Tulane with that ferocious defensive pressure. Here comes Tulane on the break. Houston's going to get back and end up stealing it away. Marche Emerson showing some outstanding play right there. Very aggressive, sprinting down the floor and picked it off. With the basketball is Alicia Smith. They have not given up. That was a very aggressive defensive play there by Emerson. Unfortunately, on the other end, the shot by Smith a little long and misses, and here comes Tulane back the other way. Blagg looks underneath for Rogers. Rogers shot no good. Loose ball. Danielle Blagg comes away with it, and with a fresh shot clock, they can reset the offense. Once she realized the shot clock was reset, no reason to force the shot, kick it back out and reset offensively. Here's Danielle Blagg back at top of the key now into the hands of Jamie Kaplan, and Kaplan looks underneath, and there's a whistle and a foul as Ebowani will go to the free throw line here as we have a timeout on the floor. Two minutes, 51 seconds to play here in this first half. It's the Tulane Green Wave leading it 32 to 19.
Two minutes, 51 seconds remaining here from Devlin Fieldhouse here in the first half. The Tulane Green Wave are up on the Houston Cougars by the score of 32 to 19. As take a look at what the Tulane Green Wave have upcoming. They got a big ball game coming up against USF as uh, Tulane getting into conference play as uh, USF is 10 and 3 overall, 1 and 0. Oh. Then they're going to make the trip to Greenville, North Carolina. They'll take on the Pirates of ECU and then another trip down to or actually a trip to Orlando taking on UCF and then back here to take on SMU. So a tough four game stretch as we get into conference play as the, the Tulane Green Wave. Tulane shooting 56% used in 35%. Let's take a look at some of the replays and how Tulane is built. It's 32 to 19 lead is here comes the Green Wave. Jamie Kaplan with another assist looked underneath and was able to find an open Tiffany Dale. Here's Kaplan finding Blag open for three. Danielle's made a big impact in this one. Blag with 12 points. And here's a steal there. It's Houston not giving up. The Cougars hanging in there, and that was a very nice defensive play by Marche Emerson, sprinting down the floor and able to steal that one from Danielle Black. Here's Adesawa Ebawani, who will go to the free throw line here for Tulane and converts the first. Ebawani, 11 of 17 from the stripe this season, and she converts both. So Tulane has built its lead back up to 15. It's actually Tulane's largest lead of the day, 34 to 19. Tulane's done its job on the glass. They've out-rebounded Houston 19 to 10 here in the opening half. And ball got worked into the corner. And there is a turnover. So Houston turning it over. They've turned it over 12 times. Tulane. 13 turnovers, so both teams a little sloppy in that department here this evening. Morgan back at top of the key for Vorpal. Vorpal kicks it back out for Leslie Vorpal, and here's Morgan for three. Morgan is yet to score in this ball game. It's been such a key part of Tulane's early success in non-conference play, and the shot is no good. Coming away with the rebound is Tyler Gilbert for the Houston Cougars. Houston racing it up the floor. Amerson gets it over to Smith. Works it back underneath. Shot going to be taken short. No good. Out of bounds off of Ebawani. And it remains with the Houston Cougars. Well, Gilbert's done a nice job underneath in the paint. Just has not been able to finish. A couple of these shots have been short. Certainly being very aggressive as Houston sets back up offensively. Just under two minutes to go here in this opening half. The two-lane green wave leading the Houston Cougars by 15. Running the offense once again is Alicia Smith. Smith works it back over for Mariah Mitchell, and the shot is good. That's Marche Amerson, the junior, converting from 15. That's a big bucket, and for Amerson's fifth point of the night. Back to a 13-point advantage. Now if your coach, Ronald Dewey, see some life here in the final two minutes, maybe get a stop here, get a bucket back the other way, and you can continue to chip away. Tulane with the offensive rebound, and Adesawa Ebawani finishes. Second chances have been huge for the Tulane Green Wave. Another offensive board there, their 10th of the night. Green Wave up by 15, and Houston's going to turn it over. A foul away from the ball. And that one is going to go against Marche Amerson. So a minute four remaining here in the first half. Tulane will use its first time out here. If you don't use it, you lose it. So you might as well take advantage of it here with a minute remaining. Minute four remaining. Try to draw up an offensive play. Of course, the shot clock still with 30 seconds shot clock so there's still going to be some opportunities here for both Houston and Tulane but this Tulane team taking care and playing some aggressive defense and crashing the boards and realistically when you take a look at the stat sheet here in the first half and as you watch this game courtside it's been the rebounds that have been the big difference in this ball game as the Tulane Green Wave have done a fantastic job as they have got themselves a 
15-point lead. Here comes the green wave back on offense. Black trying to get an open three. Gets the shot off. No good. Offensive rebound. Adesua Ebowani tried to kick it back out to Vorpal, and Leslie's able to run it down. Difference in the shot clock, about 20 seconds, as Vorpal will take the three, and the shot no good. Blag with the rebound. Third chance here for Tulane, and here comes Morgan from the corner. Colby Morgan, the freshman, hits the shot, and Tulane builds its lead to 38 to 21, its largest lead of the first half, and the shot clock is off, and the Houston Cougars come back to work on the offensive end. It looks like Houston is going to hold for the final shot. Eight seconds remaining. Alicia Smith gives it over here to Emerson. Emerson shot no good. Loose ball and a whistle and a foul. It looks like an over the back call is going to be called here against Houston. And that'll put Leslie Vorpal at the line. A very good free throw shooter to try to put two more on the board for the two lane green wave. So Vorpal on the year. 19 of 23 from the charity strike. All freshman player in Conference USA last year. Vorpal connects. She had a big night in Cincinnati the other day. Led the team with 18 points. Has really come on strong in the month of December. Vorpal's second shot is good. Tulane extends its lead to 19 as it's a 40 to 21 lead and that's how we'll go to the locker room as Tulane on an impressive run late in the first half pull away and have themselves their largest lead of the ball game as the Tulane Green Wave have a lead of 19 points here at the intermission. Tulane leading Houston by the score of 40 to 21, and it's been rebounding, and we'll have all the stats and everything from this first half. It's been an exciting first half as these two teams back and down the floor. Been sloppy at times. Both teams have turned it over, but offensive rebounds and rebounding in general, the key to Tulane, which has bursted out to a 19-point lead here at the intermission. Let's take a look at some of the replays on what has happened on the end for both Tulane and for the Cougars of the University of Houston. As you take a look at what happened here is here comes Tulane, I say here comes Houston, Marche Amerson, one of her five points in the first half, hitting the bucket right there. Houston going back to the well. They had some success early going inside, getting inside of the paint. And there's been some aggressive defensive play there by Amerson with the steal as Tulane was running it. A huge three by Alicia Smith. They all, the only three of the first half for the Cougars. Meanwhile, Tulane, they shot the, better, the ball much better. Over 50% shooting in the first half for the Green Wave. Vorpal, a nice feed to Danielle Blagg, and she went to the line for a three-point play. Kaplan finds Blagg open from the left wing, bangs home the three, and then here comes Latham into the corner for Leslie Vorpal. Tulane converting on a few threes in that first half. Made the most of it as they extended their lead to 19. And there's Colby Morgan, who's been an outstanding young freshman for this Tulane Green Wave team, getting her only point of the half just before the intermission. Our score here at the half is the Tulane Green Wave leading the Houston Cougars 40 to 21. Welcome to Halftime. Thanks for tuning into the game here on the American Digital Network. I'm Haley Outen. We've reached the end of the non-conference schedule and begun conference play. But let's take a look back at how things have been going so far. The defending national champs, UConn, are off to a good start. They suffered an early loss on the road at Stanford, their first loss since 2013, but then picked up a big win on the road at Notre Dame. After losing their number one ranking, the Huskies of March back up the polls. The Huskies were a heavy preseason favorite in the American media poll and will look for their second straight conference title. 
Head coach Gino Ariema has 20 regular season and 19 conference tournament titles. A less familiar team turning heads is new American Conference member East Carolina. The Pirates are third and fifth in the NCAA in block shots and steals. They're averaging about seven block shots and 14 steals per game. Junior guard Jada Payne has made her mark, scoring nearly 20 points per game and taking home American Player of the Week honors on December 15th. There are also individual players making a national impact. Three American women's basketball players in the top 10 rank in the NCAA in three-point field goal percentage. UConn's Kalina Mosqueda Lewis leads the way with a number two ranking at about 60 percent, while freshman Anna Owens from Cincinnati averages about 55 percent, good for fifth in the nation, while ECU's Jada Payne is seventh overall. Tulane is off to a hot start in their first year in the conference. The Green Wave won eight of their first nine games, including a big upset over in-state rival LSU. Senior guard Danielle Blagg hit the 1,000-point milestone, while freshman Colby Morgan has provided a scoring punch. The first-year guard has already taken home conference Freshman of the Week honors three times. The Green Wave will be looking for its fifth straight postseason trip this year, something they've done 15 of head coach Lisa Stockton's 20 years guiding the program. Coming up, we'll take an even closer look at Tulane, as well as fellow conference newcomers, Tulsa and East Carolina, all in their first year in the American. As the American tips off their second basketball season, the conference welcomes three new members, East Carolina, Tulane, and Tulsa. Back at Media Day, we had a chance to talk to a few of the players and coaches and find out what we need to know about each of these programs. Yeah, we're looking forward to the opportunity that's ahead of us. What, what I think we've seen is really it's like two years in a row being in a different league. Conference USA was very, very different a year ago. Uh, and then obviously a lot of familiarity, but things have changed. Uh, new coaches, uh, players to graduation, but we're looking forward to the challenge. You know, we think this is a beginning of a new era for us, and we really believe this is a, a tremendous move for Tulane, uh, a great basketball conference. I mean, obviously you've got two national champions in men and women's basketball, but um, I, I, I can tell such a difference with our team is just far as um, just their motivation. Over the summer, we really talked about trying to elevate our play, and, and I think it's going to really help us. Going into this year, um, I think our players felt just a more sense of we could have been more successful had it been more about the team and less about individuals. And so they've really bought into that and they've taken ownership of that. And we can already see a difference in practice. The, it's such a better chemistry already than it was this time last year. We did not have really good team chemistry. And that was the root of a lot of our problems and issues that we had last year. So we felt if we could fix that, that will hopefully help translate to season. You know, we'll, we'll, we will see because season is coming, coming pretty close. So we really wanted to focus on our team and not necessarily what you want to do as an individual or which will help build a team. But ultimately, if you if you're doing it for the betterment of the team, then it'll extend to on the court because ultimately we're out here to play games and win games. I think we play team basketball. I think on any given night any of us can be the leading scorer but I think our defense is what's going to pull us through the season. I think if it comes to anything, if there's a bad night, that we can definitely lean on our defense to get us through the game. Um, we've got an experienced senior class. We've got four players that have played a lot in the senior class, but we've got a, a very well-balanced team. And I think one of our strengths is that you know we've got different players that can step up different nights and score. So it's not one superstar to stop. We've just got a really nice balanced attack. Every time we step on the floor, we're going to go out and compete. And I think that's the, the best compliment I can receive as a coach. If somebody watches a game or watches a practice, the thing they take away from that game or practice is, wow, that team really played hard that we are undaunted, we're relentless, um, we won't give up, and I think that's one of the main things that people need to know about us. 
you'll see a lot of these three teams on the American Digital Network this year. The teams play a combined 14 times on our 2014-15 women's basketball package. Next up, we'll tell you a little bit more about what kind of coverage the American Digital Network will be giving the women's basketball teams from around the league. Thanks again for tuning in to today's game, and we have a lot more planned for the rest of the season. The American Athletic Conference has made a significant commitment to women's basketball. For the second straight season, we'll produce and distribute 30 women's games. With the significant exposure the league's teams already enjoy on the ESPN family of networks, more than half of league contests will be available on a national platform. We'll have two to four games a week from now until March 2nd, all fully produced and called by a great group of professionals. And we'll be here at halftime to tell you about all the great stories happening in the American. UConn has its own television agreement with SNY, but you can see all the Huskies' regular season games on ESPN3 if you're out of the area. Here at the ADN, we'll have the rest of the league covered. We'll be visiting each campus and see the other 10 teams repeatedly throughout the season. All live games will be available completely free of charge and on all mobile, tablet, and desktop devices. Visit theamerican.org slash dn for a complete schedule. The page has been designed to display on whatever device you visit it at. And we have a new way to watch this year on your Roku device. The official Roku channel of the American Digital Network will feature on-demand video and all live events. Visit roku.com to download the channel to your device. Please tell your friends and family that follow women's basketball games to check us out and join the conversation on Twitter at American underscore WBB. It's going to be an exciting regular season leading up to our 2015 Women's Basketball Championship at Mohegan Sun Arena in Connecticut. Tickets are on sale for that event already and will be there to bring you behind the scenes coverage. The second half is just moments away. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Outen. At the University of Houston, we are scholars, entrepreneurs, global citizens. This is the house innovation built. This is amazing! Welcome to the powerhouse. When it comes to learning at Tulane University, there are no boundaries. Architects and scientists in New Orleans, doctors and public health experts in Africa, history and language scholars in Latin America, legal students and professors in Europe, business students in Asia. Tulaneans are all over the globe, and the world is their oyster. We've got that, and a lot more, right here at Tulane University. Fieldhouse here in New Orleans, Louisiana, the Tulane Green Wave with a lead of 40 to 21 over the Houston Cougars. Danielle Blagg with an impressive first half. Blagg leads all scorers today for the Tulane Green Wave. She has 12 points, but as I mentioned in that first half, you take a look at what happened. 12 offensive rebounds for the Tulane Green Wave. Absolutely gave them second chance opportunities, and the Green Wave took advantage of that. Points in the paint, Tulane 20. Houston 12. Of course, Houston did have some early success at that, but kind of went away from it. And uh, Tulane shooting very well in that first half, shooting 50% from the floor, 16 of 32. Meanwhile, for the Houston Cougars, 8 of 23, shooting just 35% in the first half. They did have one three-point, one for six, and were four of nine from the free throw line. Meanwhile, for the Houston Cougars, six players for Taran Alford, five points for both Marche Elmerson and for Tyler Gilbert. Let's take a look at what's up, some of the upcoming games that's coming up in the Ameri on the American Digital Network coming up in just a few days. Actually, coming up tomorrow. It'll be Cincinnati at Tulsa, 2 p.m. tomorrow. And then on January the 3rd, 
Houston will be at SMU. Memphis is at Tulsa on the 10th of January. ECU will be visiting Tulsa on the 14th of January. And the game right here at Devlin Fieldhouse on the 17th of January will be SMU visiting Tulane. That'll be a day game with a 2 p.m. tip. Our score here at halftime is the Tulane Green Wave leading the Houston Cougars by the score of 40 to 21. This live broadcast is brought to you by Live U Sports, the leader in turnkey live video production for sports, powering digital sports networks, live game production, and transmission. Visit Live U Sports at liveu.tv. Our score here at the intermission, the two-lane green wave leading the Houston Cougars by 19, 40 to 21. Taking a look at some of the other first half stats, uh, Tulane was two of 10 from three point land. Houston one of six. The Green Wave, 12 points for Blagg, six points for Tierra Jones, six points for Ebawani to go along with five boards, including three key offensive rebounds. As Tulane built its lead up to 19, it was his largest lead of the ball game, and that's where we are at the intermission. Tulane leading the Cougars, 40 to 21. City of Houston, we are scholars, entrepreneurs, global citizens. This is the house innovation built. This is amazing! <laughs> Welcome to the powerhouse. When it comes to learning at Tulane University, there are no boundaries. Architects and scientists in New Orleans, doctors and public health experts in Africa, history and language scholars in Latin America, legal students and professors in Europe, business students in Asia. Tulaneans are all over the globe, and the world is their oyster. We've got that, and a lot more, right here at Tulane University. Now the Tulane Green Wave leading the Houston Cougars here at halftime by the score of 40 to 21. Tulane trying to get its second conference win as they are 10 and 2 on the season. Houston coming in with a record of 5 and 7. Tulane with an impressive run late in the first half, trying to get into the rankings. Tulane team, one of two schools in the American with 10 wins, 38th in the RPI. They are receiving votes. Got some key wins early in the year against SEC, LSU on the road. Knocked off NC State out of the ACC and also knocked off Miami out of the ACC. Their only losses this year to Western Kentucky and to Florida State out of the ACC. Here comes Tulane back on the offensive end as we start play here in the second half. And it's a quick feed underneath and a whistle and a foul as Tiffany Dale is going to go to the strike. Well, Dale has had an impressive run of late. Two points, four rebounds in the first half of this ball game. Double figures in four of her last five ball games. Shot is good. Ten points, 14 boards with a first double-double of the year on the road at Cincinnati. She's the team's leading rebounder, averaging about six and a half rebounds a game and has 16 blocks. So she converts both free throws and Tulane has doubled up Houston at the moment by 21, 42 to 21. Palmer dribbles right, now gets it back atop of the key for Alicia Smith. Smith works it back around. Smith into the hands of Mitchell. Eight on the shot clock. 
Kicks it back out. Jessica Palmer, two on the shot clock, gets it to Smith. Smith's three ball hit the iron. Now we got a fight for the loose ball, and there's going to be a foul. It's going to go against Tulane. I think Tiffany Dale with a push. That was right in front of the Houston bench, and it'll go back to the Cougars. Now the Cougars waited for the final seconds to get that shot off. It hit iron, and then a fight for the loose ball ends up with a whistle and a foul. So here's Mitchell. Mitchell works it back around for Alicia Smith. Smith back at top of the key now for Mitchell. Back at top. Alicia Smith in that first half had three points. Had that big three. Six on the shot clock. They're really chipping away at the clock. They look to go underneath. Nice shot there, misses, and Tulane coming off the miss. Long pass down the floor for Kaplan. Kaplan with a nice look, and Jamie Kaplan's going to lay it up and in. First bucket of the night for Kaplan, the senior, out of Sebastian, Florida. Now we mentioned Kaplan uh, closing in on 500 assists in that first half. Kaplan had five assists for the Tulane Green Wave. That gives her 485 career assists. We got a whistle and a foul. Tulane is up by 23 points. It'll be against the Tulane Green Wave. Second team foul here of the second half. And Tiffany Dale is going to head to the bench. So Dale picking up another foul. And that is uh, for Tiffany, her fourth of the game. So here comes Houston back on the offensive end. Smith. Looks it underneath, ball knocked away and it ends up into the hands of Colby Morgan. Morgan feeds it out here for Jamie Kaplan. Kaplan running the floor, gets it underneath for Morgan for three, shot, no good. Follow up shot by Tierra Jones and it ends up into the hands of Houston. So here come the Cougars. Racing it up the floor is Alicia Smith. Smith into the corner, shot from the corner, it is good. It's a three ball from the corner for Mariah Mitchell. Mitchell's fifth point of the day, and a huge shot for Houston. Duru gets her own rebound and a second effort, and she'll go to the line, fouled by Tyler Gilbert. Now Gilbert gonna be whistled for the foul. Another offensive rebound for Tulane as Chinway Duru missed the shot. Got herself a second opportunity. Duru, 18 of 27 this season from the free throw line, averaging 5.3 a game. Duru converts, that's her third point of the evening. Couple of substitutions made here by the Cougars as returning to the ball game appears to be Mariah Mitchell. Second free throw is no good. Tulane with the rebound. Check that. Return to the ball game was Taryn Alford, the senior out of Oklahoma City. Number 34, not number 24. So we've got ourselves Colby Morgan going to the free throw line after the foul. The foul was the third of the day called against Jessica Palmer. So Morgan, the freshman, converts the first. Second free throw here for Colby Morgan. And it is good. Converts both. 17 and a half to go here in this ball game. Tulane leading 47-24. Houston had some trouble against this half court trap in the first half. They break it here with Smith. Smith, long cross court pass over to Emerson. Emerson goes back to the well. Shot going to be no good. Loose ball coming away with it is Colby Morgan. Morgan, a little one on four, and decides to put the brakes on and slow things down for Tulane on the offensive end. Jamie Kaplan rolls right. 13 on the shot clock, trying to feed it underneath for Chinway Duru. We've got a whistle and a foul. Well, Tulane did a good job in the paint in the first half, scoring 20, outscoring Houston 20 to 12. And they've been really trying to hammer that in there here in the second half. Kaplan for three, well short. And it is going to be a jump ball. No, a timeout was called. 
So it is a timeout on the floor. 16.44 to go. Tulane leading Houston 47 to 24. Prior to tip off, we had a chance to talk to first year head coach for Houston, Ronald Huey. We're here with Houston's first year head coach, Ron Huey. And uh, coach, uh, what do you like about your team's start to this season, your first year here at the helm of the Houston Cougars? You know, Tim, it's been uh, a really, really good start for us just because the girls have embraced everything we asked them to do, and they're trying to do it to the very best of their ability. You know, I say it over and over, I really love this team just because it's my first team, first of all. And second of all, it's not a day that we have to come in and beg for effort. They're all in on everything. Tulane's defense comes in nationally ranked, one of the uh, best in the league, and uh, you need some scoring tonight. How are you going to try to get that done? You, you know, they play multiple defense, and they're really, really good at it. You know, they pay attention to detail. And, um, you know, we're just going to come in, and whatever we call, we're going to go with it. You know, we're going to have confidence in taking our shots. We're going to try to create second-chance opportunities. And we're going to try to push the ball before the, the defense get a chance to set up, you know, so we're going to try to play in transition some. But other than that, hopefully we can get out and, and make some shots. Head coach of the University of Houston, Ronald Huey. A look at Ronald Huey, and he's trying to fire them up. You know, he talked earlier about building an exciting program here, one step at a time. They've got five wins this year, five and seven on the young season. It's a school that went just six wins a year ago. It took them till mid-January to get their fifth win. They've already accomplished that. They were one and seventeen in the American a year ago. They're definitely building a program here, and it's definitely coming a long way. You know, last year, Todd Buchanan was the head coach at the beginning of the year. Wade Scott took over in December, but it is definitely a program in transition, and he's energetic, been very exciting, and had a good time talking to him earlier, and he's certainly pointing this Houston Cougar program in the right direction. Here comes Houston coming out of the timeout. Things are looking good for Tulane. It's mentioned the, the Tulane defense. When Tulane is allowed, when it's defensively has put up 60 points or less, the Green Wave have won nine ball games this year. They've allowed just 24 so far today for Houston, and Tulane with another big defensive stop there as a foul was called against Alicia Smith on the offensive end. So Smith picks up her second personal. Here comes Kaplan bringing it up the floor for Tulane, and there's a turnover. Tierra Jones turns it over. Turnovers have been a problem tonight for both schools. Tulane's 14th turnover of the day. Houston also has 14. So here come the Houston Cougars back on offense, trying to go back to work. That is Palmer. Kicks it out, Emerson with a big three. Marche Emerson from the corner. Exactly what Houston needs, some instant offense. Now you need a stop here as Jamie Kaplan will slow things down and run the offense for the two-lane Greenway. Off the pick set by Tierra Jones. Now over to Chinway Duru, now to Colby Morgan. Looks at underneath, Tierra Jones shot no good, one and out for Tulane and mention all the offensive rebounds for Tulane 15 of them on the day they have out rebounded Houston 30 to 15 so it's Houston obviously holding them to one and out there and that's what they'll need to do the rest of the night here Palmer for three took a step right before she talked the three took the step and that's going to be a turnover so a timeout on the floor. Tulane leading Houston by 20, 47 to 27. Before tip off of today's ball game, we had a chance to talk to the head coach for Tulane, head coach Lisa Stockton. We're here with the head coach of Tulane University, head coach Lisa Stockton in her 21st season. And coach, uh, first of all, talk about the play recently of Tiffany Dale. She's really excelled. Sure, yeah, she's had a great December. You know, when you look at um, what she's done, not just points-wise, but rebounds and block shots and just a, just a great defender. So uh, I think she's really helped us in our success this month. Really big win the other day, getting your first conference win in the American. Uh, what do you need to do tonight to get win number two over Houston? Well, I, I think we need to do what we do well. I mean, we play defense, we play hard, we use our depth. Um, you know, I'd like to see us shoot a little better. I, mean, I think that's the, the last two games we've really struggled with that. I'd like to see us get back on track there. But, but again, I, I think a conference game, they're all going to be tough. And this is a team that I think is really athletic. We're going to have to go against and, and really play hard. The head coach of Tulane University, Lisa Stockton.
Tulane has shot 46% today, so they have shot a little bit better in this ball game. Has to be very happy about what her team has done on the glass. They've out-rebounded Houston 30 to 15, so they've doubled them up there. Have a 20-point lead here with 15-20 to go in this one. Tiffany Dale has three fouls, so has run into a little bit of trouble today. Four points, five rebounds for Dale here in this ball game. She's spent some time on the bench, but Danielle Blagg has been exciting. A dozen points for Blagg in this ball game so far. So here we are coming out of the timeout. A couple of substitutions for both teams, as it will be two-lane basketball as Danielle Blagg set to inbound it here for Jamie Kaplan. And gets it in for Colby Morgan because Kaplan was double teamed. Morgan, the freshman, in a little trouble here. Tries to get it across midcourt, does. And Houston, with that ferocious defense, knocked it out of bounds along the near sideline, but it remains with two-lane. They had that defensive pressure on there to try to caused some turnovers. Tulane has turned it over a few times tonight. Morgan gets it off to Blag. Blag back at top of the key for Chinway Duru. Duru over to Kaplan with 10 on the shot clock. Houston man-to-man -man defense and now Kaplan a pass hit off the structure and that's just the way the game has gone for the Tulane Green Wave. A pass hits the structure ends up in the right hands and Tulane Gets a bucket for Tierra Jones. Houston back the other way. Shot a little long, no good. Kaplan with the board. Kaplan brings it up. Doesn't have the numbers, but it's gonna go to the well and misses the shot. Houston with the stop as Taryn Elford comes away with it. Elford with another big rebound, and now Houston's gonna be fouled as Marche Emerson gets fouled on her way to the goal. Now Emerson will go to the line here. As the foul went against Tulane, it's going to go against Tierra Jones, and that's Tierra's third personal foul. So some substitutions here. Blagg, Kaplan, and Jones and Duru all exit. Courtney Latham, Adesawa Ebawani, Leslie Vorpal all checking back into the ball game. Also coming into the game, had to miss somebody. I think it was Morgan Rogers. So a lot of substitutions here for the actually Tiffany Dale, not Rogers. Dale with the rebound. Dale outlet here for Leslie Vorpal, and Vorpal runs it up the floor, kicks it off here, and the pass is good. Laying it up and in is Tiffany Dale, the senior from Levon, Texas. Well, we just spoke with Coach Stockton about Dale's performances. Averaging 11 points a game since the month of December has been dialed in in the month of December. You just take a look at the numbers. Back in November, averaged 5.8 a game. Since then, averaging 11 points a contest has doubled the production, including a double-double the other night. So Tiffany Dale has done a fantastic job for the Tulane Green Wave in the last four or five weeks. Tulane up 52-27. Here comes Houston. Bringing it up the floor. So with the basketball is Alicia Smith. So Smith goes back to work. Outlet here for Winslow. And Bianca Winslow shot from three. No good. Loose ball. Smith comes away with it. Well, they've gotten some loose balls here in the second half, trying to chip away at this two-lane lead. Winslow looks underneath. Shot from the corner. Going to hit off the iron. Just have not gotten the shots to fall here today. Ebawani. Works it in there for Courtney Latham, and Latham gets the bucket. The Houston native with her fifth point of the contest. Tulane is back up 54-27. Houston back up the floor. Alicia Smith. Smith works it now to Winslow. Winslow goes back to work, and Winslow is fouled. I think Leslie Vorpal going to be whistled. Well, Bianca Winslow, her father was a member of those fantastic Houston Cougar teams, Phi Slamma Jamma back in the early 80s. Her younger brother, currently a freshman 
at the Duke Blue Devils. As here's the shot by Winslow, and it is good. So Bianca Winslow has some fantastic basketball relatives. I mentioned her brother playing for, as a freshman for the Duke Blue Devils. Here's the shot and converts. So Winslow with her second point, converting both free throws. Winslow will exit, so will Alford. Mitchell returns to the ball game, and as will uh, Moesha Kennard. Full court pressure here. Dale tries to get it in. Ball knocked away, and it's stolen by Houston. Shot no good by Emerson. Now there's a trap underneath. Emma Wannis loses it, but it's off of Houston, and it's going to go back to Tulane. Well, Odessa Ebawani was trapped along the baseline, lost the basketball, Houston with fantastic defensive pressure, got it done there, but couldn't finish. Hits it in for Morgan. Morgan coming off the pick set by Dale, and they get it across midcourt just in front of the 10-second clock. Morgan back over to Leslie Vorpal. Nine on the shot clock. They took so much time in the backcourt. They don't have a whole lot of time to run the offense. Four Paul for three. No good. Here comes Houston off the miss. Emerson from the corner. Shot short. No good. Tiffany Dale with another loose ball and a rebound out to Four Paul. Will Tulane have the numbers this time? I don't think so. Four Paul gets it up here. And Latham's going to take the shot. No good. Another one and out by the Tulane Green Wave. So Houston getting the job done on the rebound. So here's Smith up the floor here for Houston as the Cougars try to get themselves back into this ball game. Smith works it over here into the hands now of Mariah Mitchell. Mitchell back to Smith. Smith for three, shot no good. And the shot is no good, and it ends up into the hands of Tiffany Dale. Another rebound for Dale. Getting it done here in the second half as the two-lane green wave leading it here, 54-29. For Paul. Back at top of the key now for Tiffany Dale. Over to Colby Morgan. Pick set. Morgan had an opening, but the shot was swatted away. Tyler Gilbert who's had a block in now 12 of 13 games this season, averaging nearly two blocks a contest. Now, Tulane forcing the stop the other way and comes up with the shot as Latham, no good. Ebowani with the offensive rebound, following it up. It's Adesua Ebowani as Adesua Ebowani with the bucket. And now we got a whistle here at the 10.58 mark. So a timeout on the floor. Tulane leading Houston 56 to 29. And take a look at some of the replays from an exciting second half here at Devlin Fieldhouse as the Green Wave and Houston here at a timeout. As you see, Coach Ronald Ewing talking to his group. And let's take a look at some of the replays here from recently. There's a shot from the corner, and that was a big three by Mariah Mitchell, the freshman making just her second career start. Amerson has made a big name for herself in this one. Eight points to try to keep Houston back into this contest. A block by Houston. And now here comes Tulane, and they have made some highlights in this ball game as well. Tierra Jones with a big first half. I should say big first half and second half. She's got eight. Meanwhile, there's Courtney Latham. A nice follow-up by Dale to Odessa Wadawani with the follow-through as the two-lane green wave leading the Houston Cougars here with 10 minutes and 58 seconds remaining, leading this one 56 to 29. Second half shooting has been tough for the Houston Cougars. Two of 13 shooting just 15%. 27.8% shooting for the ball game as the Cougars have struggled to get shots to fall. Meanwhile, Tulane, 21 of 47 overall for 45% as you see them all dialed in on head coach Ronald Huey. Huey's finally got his first chance to, to run a program, a 10-year assistant, a year
year ago, was at uh, an assistant at Florida State, helped lead them to the NCAA tournament. He's had an impressive resume when you take a look at Ronald Dewey, an assistant at Florida State, assistant at Texas, Rutgers, UCF, South Carolina, and South Carolina State on the way to his first head coaching gig here at Houston. And has led four, he was a part of four different coaching staffs to, to go to the NCAA tournament. And that's what he wants to do with this Houston team, taking it one step at a time. Marche Emerson at the line, and Emerson converts the first for the ninth point of the day for the junior from Bryan, Texas. At 10 points in the loss to Central Florida, and the shot is no good. Rimmed in and out, but an offensive rebound here by Houston, and they saved it, but it's into the wrong hands of Vorpal, and Vorpal runs it down the floor, couldn't finish. Ball went out of bounds, and it's going to be, I think it's going to remain with Tulane off of Houston, so the Green Wave will catch another break and have the ball on the offensive end here, up by 26. Hits it in. Into the hands of Kayla Crookshank. Crookshank gives it back to Ebawani. Shot taken, no good. Loose ball coming away with it is, is going to be Houston into the hands of Tyler Gilbert. Gilbert with five points. Was a key early in this ball game as Alford goes back inside for Gilbert. Couldn't finish. Well, they had some success in the paint earlier. Couldn't get that one to fall, but certainly was a decent look by Alford trying to get it into Gilbert. Here's Latham from the corner. Shot no good. Loose ball coming away from it is going to be, that was uh, Deja Joshua, Joshua. So Joshua brings it up just a few minutes played here in this ball game for the Houston Cougars. So with 9.57 to go, Tulane is up by 26. So it'll be Houston basketball from the baseline. Bianca Winslow set to inbound the ball. Winslow sets it in. I mentioned Deja Joshua just checked in a moment ago. And here's Winslow running the offense against this defense for Tulane, which has done the job again tonight. They've allowed just 30 points here in the first 30 minutes of this ball game by this Houston Cougars team. Nine on the shot clock. Winslow looks underneath, and the pass was errant, intended for Tyler Gilbert. So the ball sails high and out of bounds and gives it back to the two-lane green wave. So heading to the bench is going to be Taryn Elford. Also heading over to the bench is Bianca Winslow for Houston. As returning to the ball game is the freshman Mariah Mitchell. Mitchell and Kennard back into the game. We got a whistle and a foul against Houston here. That'll be the seventh team foul here in the second half called against the Cougars. This one is the second personal called against Mariah Mitchell. So going to the free throw line here is going to be Leslie Vorpal, and Leslie converts the first. For Vorpal, her sixth point of the evening. Second free throw opportunity here for Vorpal is no good. So the two-lane lead remains at 27, leading this one 57 to 30. Shot for three from the corner, and it is good. Mariah Mitchell connects eighth point of the day for Mitchell. Mitchell at six in the win, I should say, in the loss to UCF. Career best 15 points against Nickel State. That was in a tournament over there in Lubbock, Texas. Near steal by Leslie Vorpal. Reached in there and nearly was able to pick the pocket of Alicia Smith. But Houston maintains possession. So here come the Cougars. Back on offense. Mitchell from the corner. Mitchell has the ball jarred loose. And it's going to be a whistle and a foul, and this foul is gonna go against Tulane. 
So Kayla Crookshank whistled for the personal, her first. And going to the line will be Deja Joshua. Freshman from Gary, Indiana. Going to the stripe for the first time this season. Averaging just a point and a half a game. Converts. 57, 34, 8, 32 remaining. Second free throw is good. Converting on both free throws here. And here comes Tulane. Going up against that pressure again. And this time, Courtney Latham breaks it. Latham to Ebowani, now to Vorpal. Back at top of the key now, into the hands of Rogers. 12 on the shot clock, cross-court pass into the corner. Three ball effort taken by Crookshank, and it went out of bounds. And with 8.09 remaining in this contest, basketball goes back to Houston. So here come the Cougars, back on the offensive end. Bounce pass over to the left wing for Kennard. Kennard playing in her home state of Louisiana today. And Kennard has not been able to score yet. Trying to shake loose underneath is Tyler Gilbert. And there's a shot and a whistle and a foul. This is going to go against Tulane. So. So Tulane leading Houston 57 to 35, 745 remaining in this one is we'll take a look what happening in the American Athletic Conference as our players of the week were named yesterday as uh, Alicia Jenkins, the 6'1 junior from uh, USF. And then the freshman of the week, um, Gabby Williams as uh, Gabby Williams was the freshman of the week coming out of uh, the University of Connecticut. A big week for her. And then the player of the week, Brianna Stewart, the forward 6'4 junior from UConn as the Connecticut Huskies continue to roll on as uh, they ro continue to roll. Had a big win last night against uh, the Duke Blue Devils as... Uh, there's a look at what's going on in the American Athletic Conference as the uh, freshman and the player of the week. Meanwhile, here at uh, Devlin Fieldhouse, the uh, Houston Cougars in the Tulane Green Wave. Tulane leading it 57-35. We'll take a quick timeout on the American Digital Network. Forty-five remaining in this one from New Orleans. It's the two-lane green wave leading the Houston Cougars 57 to 35. Houston so far in this ball game is shooting just 28%, make that 29%. Meanwhile, uh, for two-lane, 41%. If you take a look at some of the statistics for this ball game, and here's the free throw by Gilbert connecting. 6'2", junior from Missouri City, Texas. Second free throw effort by Tyler Gilbert. And it is good. So Gilbert converts on both. Here comes that pressure put forth by the Houston Cougars. Vorpal trying to push it up the floor. Gets it into the hands of Kayla Crookshank. Able to break that timeline, and now with 18 on the shot clock, Tulane sets up offensively. Courtney Latham back at top of the key for Ebowani. Single digits now, nine on the shot clock. Shot from the corner is no good. Loose ball coming away from it is going to be the Houston Cougars. So Houston holding Tulane to one shot once again. So setting it up is Alicia Smith on the offensive end for Houston. Gets it over to Palmer. Palmer looks underneath. 
Kicks it out, three ball, and it is a little long, no good. Loose ball, and it's off at Tulane. Looked like it went off, but Crookshank and the Cougars maintain possession with a fresh shot clock. Stepping into inbounds the basketball here in just a moment. More substitutions here as a few more substitutions for Tulane. As getting some players in there. As Tulane has a game again in a couple of days, so you want to try to get more and more players involved. Less minutes if you can do it. As uh, checking in a minute, a minute ago was Paige Hall. Hasn't played much, just appeared in one game this year for the redshirt freshman. And now we got a tie up. And it's going to be an jump ball, actually a timeout going to be used here. So we got a timeout on the floor. Six minutes, 35 seconds to go. Tulane is up by 20, 57, 37. At the University of Houston, we are scholars, entrepreneurs, global citizens. This is the house innovation built. This is amazing! Welcome to the powerhouse. When it comes to learning at Tulane University, there are no boundaries. Long inbounds here for Houston. Gets it back to Palmer. Palmer, dribble drive, shot as the shot clock was set to expire, no good. Here comes Kaplan running the floor for Tulane and Jamie Kaplan finishes it. Her fourth point of the ball game for Kaplan. Here comes Houston back the other way. Shot, no good. Rebound pulled down by Hall. Hall pushes it out for Blag. Ends up into the hands of Vorpal. Leslie Vorpal running it up the floor here for Kaplan. And Kaplan is going to be fouled. And we'll go to the line in just a moment. Eighth team foul whistled against Houston. As the foul went against Tyler Gilbert, that's number four on Gilbert for this contest. So at the free throw line, Jamie Kaplan converts. Fifth point of the day for the senior. Second free throw opportunity here for Kaplan and nothing but net. Kaplan, a very good free throw shooter converts both so the two lane green wave extend their lead to 61 to 37 550 remaining in this one Winslow works it back around into the hands of Taryn Elford now back at top of the key here still by Evawani Adesua takes it away and racing it up the floor and lays it up and in Adesua Evawani is into double figures she's got 10 there's Joshua on the right wing over to Emerson. Running the offense here. Joshua sets and fires from three. No good. And a loose ball coming away with it is Tulane. The Green Wave are going to have numbers here. This is a four on one. And they're just playing pickup ball and swatting it away with a big defensive stop is Deja Joshua. It will be a foul. But the numbers there were all too lane after the loose ball ended up into the hands of the Green Wave. Houston all went for it. They had four players back, and it was some good defense there as Paige Hall, the freshman, will go to the stripe and connect. So Hall connects. Second free throw by Paige Hall is no good. Connecting on one of two for the red shirt freshman from Lafayette, Louisiana. Hall playing in just her second game. That was her first career points. So here comes Houston. Amerson works it back around and the shot is going to be offensive foul. 
whistled against the Houston Cougars. 4.46 to go. Foul is going to be called against Jessica Palmer. One of the keys to tonight's ball game for Houston. Palmer, who averages 9.9 .9 a game, is going to foul out without scoring. So we got a timeout as Palmer will head to the bench. Unable to score today, the junior from Lamarck, Texas. So here comes Jamie Kaplan up the floor for the green wave into the hands of Vorpal. Back atop for Blagg, and the ball nearly got stolen. It did. Now we got a collision, and, and a timeout going to be used here by Tulane. So the green wave will exhaust a timeout here as everybody fighting for the loose ball. Tulane up 64-37. When it comes to learning at Tulane University, there are no boundaries. Architects and scientists in New Orleans, doctors and public health experts in Africa, history and language scholars in Latin America, legal students and professors in Europe, business students in Asia. Tulaneans are all over the globe, and the world is their oyster. We've got that, and a lot more, right here at Tulane University. 431 remaining in this one. It is the Tulane Green Wave leading the Houston Cougars 64 to 37. Tulane coming out of the timeout. The Green Wave have three timeouts remaining. Houston's got just two. Ebowani from the top of the key. Hands it off to Vorpal. Vorpal with shot clock expiring. Tried to bank in a three, no good. Loose ball coming away with it is Houston. Here comes Kennard racing it up the floor. Shot, no good. Loose ball coming away with it is Houston as they get the offensive rebound. Back at top of the key is Bianca Winslow. Winslow over to Kennard. Kennard from 17, shot no good, loose ball, fight for it, and Joshua comes away with it for the Cougars. Another loose ball after the shot was no good by the Cougars. Paige Hall with the rebound, gives it off to Blagg. Blagg racing down the floor, could not finish. Three and a half minutes to go in this one. Back and forth we go. Houston shot by Winslow is no good. Gets her own rebound. Gets the outlet out to Mariah Mitchell. And now they'll set it up offensively. That was actually Joshua and not Mitchell. 319 to go. Tulane is up 64 to 37 in this one. Alford. Works it back around for Joshua from 14, and it is good. Deja Joshua, fourth point of the contest for the freshman. Getting some valuable minutes here for Ronald Huey's Houston Cougars. Underneath here for Blagg, cruising along the baseline, gets the nice feed and lays it up and in. Blagg with her 14th point of the ball game. Comes Houston back the other way, the Cougars. Blacks 14 leads all scorers in this ball game. Works it back around for Kennard. Dumps it underneath now. Joshua and ball was deflected. It remains with Houston. So a loose ball got knocked out of bounds. So it remains with the Cougars. We've got a timeout on the floor here as it looks like Tulane will make a line change here and bring in like five new players. But let's take a look at what's happened in this ball game and take a look at some of the replays and some of the exciting action here from Devlin Fieldhouse here this evening. As the green wave uh, with some Big time stops on the defensive end that have led to Jamie Kaplan on the offensive end with the layup. Meanwhile, Houston goes back to work, but no, Adesua Ebowani picks it off, runs the length of the floor, and finishes it with a layup and a huge fast break points for Ebowani in the green wave. And there you see the finish. Danielle Blagg lays it up and in as Blagg leads the green wave with 14 points here tonight 
for the senior from San Antonio, Texas. Well, Black came into this ball game with 198 career three-pointers, moving into second place in school history recently. She connected another one tonight, giving her 199, uh, moved ahead of uh, Nikki Luckhurst recently. Long ways to go to get to the top, as uh, that's going to be a big second half to be able to get all those threes to be able to move to number one on the list. Got about 80 to go on that department. As you get to take a look at the Houston uh, huddle there as they get ready for one last push here, down 66 to 39, 221 to go. It has been a story of just not being able to get the shots to fall. Shooting just 25% from the floor today, 12 of 47. Meanwhile, Tulane shooting nearly 50% at 47%. Big difference in the rebounding as well as big difference in how uh, today's ball game has gone. And you could take a look at maybe it was shot selection or just not been able to finish. Tulane's got a bunch of new players into the ball game right now, including uh, Brooke LaFlo, a senior out of St. Paul, Minnesota, playing in just the second game of the season. So here comes Tulane back the other way. Actually, LaFlo playing in her third game of the season. Here comes Tulane back on the offensive end. And it is Jones, looks underneath here. Hall goes back to work. Page Hall banks it in. Uh, you see the bench of the two-lane green wave going nuts. Hall has been slowed by injuries, has that big knee brace, sat out her freshman year here and has been slow to but still working out and getting some quality minutes today and everybody excited about her getting her first field goal. Here comes a Houston miss. Tulane back the other way. LaFlo trying to get her first bucket of the season and it rimmed in and out. They go back to the well and the ball ended up going out of bounds. Minute 16 to go in this one. So Tulane leading it 68 to 39. LaFlo set to inbound it here for Courtney Latham. As Latham in the two-lane green wave. Oh, ball stolen away by Deja Joshua. Running the floor. Joshua tried to finish, could not. Ball got knocked away, and we're going to have it, it going back to Houston. So the Cougars are going to have the basketball here with a minute two remaining. Set to inbound it from the baseline, Bianca Winslow. Winslow gets it in for Mitchell. Mitchell for three, shot a little long. Jones with the rebound. Lead pass, LaFlo in transition, lays it up and in. That's Brooke LaFlo, a transfer, getting her first career points here at Tulane. Back the other way for the Houston Cougars. Shot no good, but a whistle. And going to the free throw line in just a moment, will be the Houston Cougars. It'll be uh, Taryn Alford, I believe. So Alford goes to the stripe. A senior from Oklahoma City. Alford misses on the front end. Second free throw attempt here for Alford, who has eight points on the evening. Tulane with a 31 point lead, make it 30, 70 to 40, 47 seconds remaining in this one. Lead pass here to Tierra Jones and they'll have to take a shot. Difference in the shot clock at the moment, about 14 seconds. Gets it back at top of the key now. For Kayla Crookshank, shot no good. Shot clock is off. Alford's going to end up throwing it out of bounds. And it'll end up being two-lane basketball. Shot clock is off, and they essentially can run it out if they want. Tried to get it in bounds, and the ball got knocked out of bounds once again by Houston. So LaFlo set, actually they're going to change it up here and they'll go to the uh, freshman 
Crookshank set to inbound it. Hits it in here for Courtney Latham, who backpedals towards midcourt. 20 seconds to go in this one. Tulane's defense has been fantastic all year, allow, averaging uh, defensively 54 points a game. They have uh, just allowed just 40 points here tonight as the Tulane Green Wave are going to get their 11th win of the season and improve its record to 11 wins and two losses and improve it to 2-0 and in conference play. Meanwhile, for the Houston Cougars, they fall to 5-8 and 0-2 and and in conference play as they suffer a tough loss here tonight. So the Tulane Green Wave go on to defeat the Houston Cougars tonight by the final score of 71 to 39 is an impressive win tonight for this two-lane green wave team. We talked about it at the top. Rebounding, they've been so good at, and they continue to do that here tonight against a Houston team that has struggled on the glass, but defensively, the two-lane green wave who have been fantastic of holding teams down with all their defensive schemes, and they hold the Houston Cougars down tonight as the two-lane green wave come up with a big win, their first ever American Conference win here in their home arena, Devlin Fieldhouse. Let's take a look at some of the replays and how the Tulane Green Wave got it done tonight. Shot from the corner, huge for Houston as they get themselves a big bucket. Houston with another bucket from the corner. That was Marche Amerson who had herself a pretty good ball game here today. Houston had a good thing going early as they were going inside of the paint and getting some buckets. That was one there by Deja Joshua. Now here comes the two-lane offense coming off the break, Jamie Kaplan. Kaplan with a nice assist here, ends it up working it inside to Tierra Jones who lays it up and in. And then it was getting it back in for Tiffany Dale. We talked about Dale at the top, has been on a pretty impressive roll for Tulane. And Danielle Black had a big night today. She led all scores. There's one of the buckets. Paige Hall comes off the bench, playing in just her second collegiate game, picks up the big bucket there. Tulane ends up winning it tonight. Your final from Devlin Fieldhouse, 71-39. At the University of Houston, we are scholars, entrepreneurs, global citizens. This is the house innovation built. This is amazing! <laughs> Welcome to the powerhouse. When it comes to learning at Tulane University, there are no boundaries. Architects and scientists in New Orleans, doctors and public health experts in Africa, history and language scholars in Latin America, legal students and professors in Europe, business students in Asia. Tulaneans are all over the globe, and the world is their oyster. We've got that and a lot more right here at Tulane University. Back here on the floor, Tulane with a big win today, knocking off Houston 71-39. We're joined here with head coach Lisa Stockton. And coach, nice win tonight. Uh, win all went well for the Green Wave. I, I think I, I loved our effort. You know, we were just, uh, we, we talked about just finishing that second half and being as aggressive. We had people diving on the floor at the end of the game. And um, I, I think that was really special. I, I felt like offensively we really got in the groove. It's good to see Danielle Blagg feeling confident. And once again, our defense really was, was pretty valuable to us. Defense was impressive. And rebounding really crashed the boards both on the offensive end and the defensive end. Well, and, and we didn't have Tiffany Dale in there as much as we'd like. I mean, she had a little bit of injury, so we wanted to keep her out if we could. And not having her in there and then having 
having a decimal coming in and having a double double certainly helps. So I, that, that's really the key to our team, and we've got different players who can do things different nights. You got a lot of depth. You played everybody here tonight, and I, you could tell by the reaction from the bench. Two of your players getting their first collegiate points. Right, and you know, one, one's a walk on who's a senior, so it was good to see her do that. And then uh, obviously we had another player that's been hurt. Paige Hall's been hurt, so she got in there and, and gave us some good minutes. Yeah, it seemed like that really energized the whole team, and it's it's awesome when something like that happens. Well, it's great they pull for each other like that. I mean, they were genuinely really pulled for and really wanted them to score and, and be successful out there. Coach, appreciate your time, and uh, congratulations on another big win. Thank you. Head coach Lisa Stockton uh, with the big win here today, and now here's one of the heroes from today's ball game, uh, senior Danielle Blagg, and Danielle, 14 points here today. Impressive job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was a, just, it was a great win overall. Big win, brand new conference. You know, you're used to Houston, though. This yeah. team, you have a little bit of history with the Cougars. We do. I mean, it's overall, it's um, been competitive over the years. It was definitely good to get a 30 point win. I think it was great. Everyone got to contribute to this win. So, yeah. Offensively, you guys are just crashing the boards mm -hmm. and did a fantastic job here today, and that really created a lot of offense for you guys. Right, I know. I think um, I overheard Day Day got a double double, so it just, I know everyone's doing great rebounding. I know Tiffany's just a monster on the board, and then even Paige Hall, um, she got some minutes and was grabbing rebounds like crazy. It was just, it was really great overall, yeah. You guys seem the most excited part of the night is when Paige scored and when uh, Brooke scored, and it seemed like everybody was just jumping up and down on the sideline. Oh my gosh, yes. It was just, that was probably the most exciting part. I mean, it's always great to get a win, but just knowing how hard Paige has worked to get where she's at right now, and Brooke, you know, just as, coming on as a walk-on, I know she works hard every single day, day, and then getting those couple minutes and getting that layup, it was just an amazing moment. Defensively, defense has been the story for you guys. I mean, you guys, every time out, holding teams under 60. You now this is five different teams holding them to season lows and today just put 40 points up for, for them. So what, what's, what is the secret to that success for the Tulane Green Wave? Practicing it every single day. We start